Hey, this is Steve Sterlacci. And recently, I don't know why this totally blew up the internet. Um, John Mayer did a live stream recently where he's playing through an Axe Effects and he's talking about how far modeling has come and how good it is getting. And his main gripe still are three things that I wanted to dispel if you are a Helix user. So I'm not necessarily saying that it's a bad thing that um, John Mayer has issues with with his modeler. What I am saying is that if he had chosen a Helix, then he wouldn't have had the same problems. So I want to address the three problems that he had inside the Helix. He said the wrong word. I don't want you to keep going. You said if he had chosen, if he had chose. Had chosen? If he had, if he had chose a Helix, he's definitely not choosing. <laughs> okay. So if he had chosen a Helix, I want to show you guys what those three issues that he had were and how they're not an issue inside of the Helix. So the first issue he talks about is having three strings ringing at once and having digital artifacts that he's hearing being plugged in. I have a similar setup to him right now where I have my camera audio and I have an amp in the side, but I'm also directly recording this. So I'll show you guys how this sounds both. So in the room, this is what this sounds like. Now, I don't really hear any digital artifacting there at all. So I don't get any digital artifacting at all with my Helix in either setup. You can hear it on the camera, you can also hear it directly recorded. No digital artifacts whatsoever when you're playing the three strings at once and bending one. The second issue that he talks about is the lack of volume control uh, with the, from the guitar. So in the Helix, I use my volume control all the time and I think it responds pretty much exactly like an amp. If you listen to his live stream, he ducks his volume a slight little bit and the whole signal and all the gain drops. So I wanted to show you what it sounds like in the Helix. So here we are at volume is full, full up. And that's the level of gain we're at. I'm going to drop the volume to eight. gain is still retained with a little bit less volume. If I even go to six, I don't think I'm losing anything there. Keep going all the way down to four. So I don't really see what the issue is with the volume control if you're using a Helix. So the third and most difficult thing to address is he describes this sound as a wapush. How do you talk about what wapush means? But he talks about how the tubes grab and present the note, I guess, through his amplifiers. So in the Helix, and I'll take you guys over to HX Edit, which is the software to edit your Helix presets in, you have... These parameters, you have sag and you have bias. So the bias and the sag are two things that you can control how your tubes respond digitally, obviously. So if he wants more of his wapush sound, whatever he wants to call it, say, say that actually means more sag, you bring up the sag. <laughs> and that has a different effect on the attack versus having the sag all the way down. And then you just 
toggle along here and you find your sweet spot for the seg. You could also do the same thing for the bias of the tubes. So this is super cold. Or you could turn the bias all the way up where the tubes are a little hotter. Again, you just dial in your sweet spot here and you'll be able to address all of those problems. <laughs> I can hear you. <laughs> Sorry. It's okay. I need a closing statement. I have no idea what to say anyway. Oh, and then you're done? No. Uh, yeah, once okay. I'm done saying this, I just need to figure out something to say while the camera's rolling. Okay, we'll Don't fuck yourself, second. San Diego. Perfect. Stop watching me. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> so, overall, Again, John doesn't have a problem with the modelers, but he has a problem with those couple of issues. I wanted to just show you guys that those are actually not an issue with the Helix. So it's not that modelers have an issue, it's that the one that he chose, not necessarily modeling in general. So John, you should have chosen a Helix. It should have chosen okay? 